What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're again going to talk DJI Avada. But this time it's gonna get some flack and I'm going to explain to you why this is in fact the worst manual FPV drone you can get. And you heard that correct, it is the worst. And this is not clickbait. First and foremost I want to tell you that this is actually an amazing drone. I love it. But this still is not clickbait, it is a terrible manual drone. Let me explain to you why. This is not a manual drone. You heard that correctly. If you fly this thing in manual mode, it is not a fully manual drone. This thing still tries to maintain its altitude. It still tries to reflip itself once it's on the back or something. This thing is actually severely dangerous. And many people probably talked about this already, but this is not a safe drone by any means. The worst thing that happens to me is in this crash. You can see I flew against something, fell through the canopy of a tree and the drone just started to go completely crazy. I actually didn't do any of these god awful movements or stick inputs. I went completely off the throttle so that the drone just drops to the floor. I also have a custom button setting that if I flip these rockers that the motors were shut off. Now this is not going to happen. You heard that correctly. You can't go off the throttle and you can't stop the motors once this drone decides that oh man something is going on here. This is terrible. Imagine this would have happened in a crowd of people. This drone would have went crazy just flying from person to person to person against the wall. So this drone has firmware built in that if it believes it is flipped over or that it dropped too fast that it will start to maintain its altitude even if you're in manual mode. So there are two scenarios where this drone is by far the worst manual drone ever. Look a manual drone should be a drone where you have full control over it at any point in time. The first is just to fly in certain maneuvers that you want. Look. I tried to dive with this drone. What this drone can do fairly well is if you fly up something and then just dive straight head on first down the subject. This will work more or less, although I already had it happen to me that I will do this and the drone will just like go crazy and start to level itself. It actually does it pretty well to level itself when it believes that we shouldn't be in this position. But then again, if it tries to do that, I already heard of other people where it happened that the drone tried to level itself, but then went incredibly crazy and just went straight into a crash. When you try to dive this thing in more creative, dangerous way, it will not happen. It will not happen. What I mean by that is the usual way to dive is obviously you fly up something and then just dive down, right? You dive along the straight line of the subject. But there are also many other dives that are incredibly creative and beautiful. So you can, for example, fly up and then just keep the subject in track but let the drone just flip slowly and just rotate and let gravity do its thing, right? This just looks amazing if you have something in the air, something specific where you want to keep track on, but you don't necessarily want to just like follow it down. You just want to, I don't even know if it's called a dive at this point, but you fly up, keep the subject in track and just let the drone drop however it wants. If you're a decent pilot, you're always able to, let's say it's on the back, you have the subject here in, in the frame, you're always able to just turn it around and fly away normally and rescue the drone but DJ the software doesn't allow it to you to happen every time you try to do something more creative more specific it also happened with flips to me you fly up flip the drone 180 degrees and then want to flip it the other way 180 degrees it just doesn't do it it's going crazy and tries to save itself and this saving can more often than not result in extremely terrible incidents like you saw in my crash video there. The other thing that this thing is not good at is to shut off its motors. I already talked about this, but this can be just extremely annoying and extremely detrimental to the health of the drone actually. I personally am kind of a beginner. 
I'm a bloody beginner to be fair, I'm only flying for one week. I gotta say though, I'm pretty good at this point. To get good, I started to practice in tall grass, where if I crash, which happened and would happen and will happen, I land softly in a big, tall bunch of grass. Once you land somewhere where the drone thinks, oh no, let's uh, maintain altitude, let's get back to where I wanna be, and the motors are stuck or the drone is stuck and it doesn't happen, it just starts to like overclock them like insane. The sound is terrible. Everybody in the environment will think, what the fuck is this guy doing? First and foremost. And secondly, you can't tell me that the motors would like this sort of overclocking. I unfortunately don't have a direct example because every time it happened, I was more concerned to somewhat save the drone than to actually film the sound for this YouTube video. But it's god awful. It is absolutely terrible. And you can't, as mentioned before, just shut off the motors. It will not happen. You just have to do some weird stuff on the controller. Usually I switch modes to normal, then it kind of has a moment of, oh, okay, reconsideration. Then I turn the sticks inwards to turn off the motors. This sometimes works, not always. Yeah, you can go off the throttle and you can turn off the motors, easily at least. You have to like do some weird stuff to maybe suggest that, hey, it's time to just Good night, turn off the motors. That being said, this drone is actually dangerous. It is not a manual drone. You can somewhat fly manually, yes. And it is incredibly annoying and it might destroy itself at some point. It might hit people and you might get a lawsuit on your ass. So do I recommend this drone after all this? Maybe, probably, actually not. Many people say, okay, it's a great beginner drone, but then you have to consider, do you actually have two grand lying around to start something, to maybe get into something, to, hmm, okay, let me see if this is good, let me see if this works for me. And then as soon as you get better and try to figure out some better moves that it doesn't work anymore, I don't think so. I think you should start with like a 200 buck tiny, whiny, little, small baby drone that is a manual where you can as well get an understanding. I think two grand for a beginner drone for maybe I would like to get into FPV is far too much. Obviously it's less than two grand, but I paid around two grand for it for all the updates and extra batteries and whatnot, fly more kit, yada, yada. No, I cannot recommend it. Will I still fly it? Of course, will I return it? No, I will probably not sell it either. I have to learn it first, but I, I would have probably went the direct route into actual FPV territory. Obviously this thing has its ups in other domains. This is a great normal drone. If you have it in the normal modes, you can actually fly through very, very tight passages and it's very easy to actually fly this FPV style with the goggles. It is cool, I'm not gonna lie, it is great. But as a manual drone, I can only repeat myself. It's probably not the right pick for you. It's probably not the right pick for me. I might as well, if I crash this one severely, send it in, get a replacement and then sell it and from the money actually get into real FPV because this is half-assed. This is not a manual drone. If DJI decides to fix this in a software update, this will actually be a great drone. I also wanna shortly talk about the way this flies, just to get all the cons off the table. I think actually it's got great handling. Yes, it does jello, it does have rotor flutter, I don't know which one is which, but it will sometimes like jitter around and not find itself stable. But I actually found that this thing is actually super reliable. Like I've never, crashed it just out of the sky. I never like flipped around because I had a wrong stick input or something. This is a good handling drone. It flies amazingly in my opinion. I also didn't fly other FPV drones to be fair, but I like it so far. So to conclude, it's a terrible manual drone. It is good for beginners, but it is bad for beginners because it's way too expensive. It is a good normal drone, but it is a terrible normal drone compared to others like the Mini Pro that's one grand less expensive and the Mavic 3 Pro if you want to go real pro. 
so there you have it guys these are my thoughts and uh yeah i'm a little bit pissed off obviously i've crashed this thing in insane ways because of these software inhibitions this is all for now and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so i might do more content on whatever camera equipment is interesting to me right now and you can subscribe feel free to like feel free to comment put your thoughts into the section and tell me if this was well spoken because i'm not an english native i'm actually from germany i'm giving my best to speak coherently and fluently and eloquently so if you like this hit that smash button press that subscribe and you know whatever i have a good day yo bye see you love you